So it has arrived. This is the Rode Wireless Go 2, a dual channel wireless microphone system, which is a follow up to the hugely popular Wireless Go. Now, in contrast to that original model, this package comes with two transmitters, not one. And there's a number of additional features and improvements, but please be aware that this does retail at around twice the price. Here in the UK, the original Wireless Go, it sells for about £150. This sells for £280. So you do get the additional transmitter. You do get a lot more features. And in my opinion, it's worth it, but it does depend on your use case. Now, if you want to learn more, please do check out the official website. You'll see a comprehensive list of features and specifications. But today I really just want to unbox it and we'll have a look at the system itself and we can have a look at the features beforehand. Now later, once I've tested it, I will do a full review. But for now, let's just look at the features. So at the side of the box here, you can see that it does have dual channel wireless. You can output audio via 3.5 millimeter. So that's cameras, USB-C and iOS. So Android phones, iOS phones, they're all covered tablets and all that you can pretty much connect this to everything and in the past I've connected like the Rode VideoMic NTG to my audio interface as well via their uh, XLR adapter thing so there's a lot of flexibility with this system you can use this in a lot of different ways so this has a built-in microphone each of the transmitters do have a microphone and that's great you know out of the box you can just attach this to someone attach it to anything and just start recording but most people do go out and buy a lavalier mic and the lavalier go as one of the popular models, but you can use anything. Uh, 2.4 gigahertz digital transmission. The original model of this could transmit up to 70 meters. This has now been increased to 200 meters. So uh, that's a major improvement in my opinion. Uh, seven hours battery life, uh, but you can charge it on the fly. Uh, and you've got one receiver and two transmitters. You've got three for windshields for using it outside. You've got three USB-C cables. So I assume, yeah, that's for all devices. Um, and you've got one SC5 3.5 millimeter TRS cable and then a carry pouch. Now, with regards to this cable, please be aware that Road make a lot of money from selling all these additional cables and they have a cable for everything. This is a video micro, but you can pick up different cables for your phones. And you know, there's a host of different cables out there depending on which mic you buy. And then you just have a lot of different cables out there for different situations. So don't be limited by that. You can use this for anything really. So without further ado, let's get this open and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, let's see what's on offer here. So I've made an absolute dog's dinner out of that, but there doesn't seem to be any easy way to get that off. Okay, what do we have here? Well, the first thing that we can see here is the carry pouch. And it's branded Rode. Your carry pouch there. I've got the microphones here. And we'll just quickly look at the accessories. So you've got your instruction manual here. I've got it upside down, but this is a quick start guide. Looks quite good as far as how you get going and how you connect it all up. Quite nice how it's all set up there. Looks like it's easy to follow. Yeah, that looks good. Um, we've got our 3.5 millimeter cable there, and then we've got our three USB type C cables. And you can see that they're all quite short here. So stretched out full, it is about 50 centimeters for this cable. So it's not a huge cable. And to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of these types of cables. They, they break quite easily at the end here. Sure, it'll be okay if you look after it, but yeah, I'm, I'm a bigger fan of braided cables, if I'm honest. But they are branded Road, And you can always replace these. They are just Type-C ones. Okay, let's get this open. We'll see what you get in the overall package. And this is it. So you've got the three for windshields here. And then we've got the three actual devices. So I've got the Russian hats sitting out here and this is the receiver and these are the transmitters. So just to summarize what you get in the box when you pick up the Rode Wireless Go 2, you get the receiver, this is the one with the screen, and then you've got two transmitters and the two transmitters have LED indicators at the top there. 
There's three for windshields and there's three charging cables as well. These are type A to type C. They're about 50 centimeters long and they're a little bit too thin for my liking, but they are easily replaced. There is a TRS to TRS audio cable and when you stretch it out like that, from here to here is 20 centimeters, but obviously it's a lot less when it's curled up like that. You've got a carry pouch to put everything in. That's all good. And you get the wireless go to quick start guide, which is actually pretty good. One of the most attractive features of the wireless go system is its portability. I mean, these things are just super small, but they're also super light. Now the official website says that a transmitter is 30 grams and the receiver is 32. I seem to be getting a little bit more, but that could be my scales. I'm getting 32 for the transmitter and 33 for the receiver. Regardless, these things remain super, super light. So obviously at this point, I've not went out, I've not tested it, I've not did any recording, but looking around the receiver here and the transmitters, it doesn't seem too difficult to actually work out. Now I'll power it on in a second, which you do with this button here, but I just want to show you around the actual mic system. So power button at the top, we've got wireless go to branding there. At the other side, we've got type C for charging and 3.5 millimeter out. And then at the bottom, we have DB, which refers to the pad, zero decibels, minus 12 or minus 24. And then we've got one, two, and it kind of looks like infinity, but it's like a pairing symbol. And that's for pairing to both of these transmitters. And then we've got the clasp at the back. And this can attach to anything really, but it's very easy to attach this to a cold shoe mount. And that's kind of how it would look on a camera. And you can attach the transmitters in the same way, like so. So this is a transmitter and obviously both of these are the same. Uh, this one has got type C for charging, power at the, uh, at the bottom there, wireless go to, and then at the top, we've got 3.5 millimeter in. So this is where my lavalier go will go. It'll go on the top there. And then you've got the microphone. So this is where you can put your, your fur windshield, if I can actually grab it. So that's the fur windshield and it would just kind of stick on top like that. So there's two indicators there. Should be able to see that there. One is for power and one is for pairing. So if I power this up, we'll just give you a quick preview of the screen. So this is how it loads up. It kind of looks like a GoPro screen, that kind of idea of having a small screen with all the indicators. Obviously need to charge these up, but yeah, it looks good. It looks like it's very easy to use and you'll just use these buttons to navigate everything down the bottom. So yeah. Looks good. I do need to figure this out. I do need to test these and all that, but the manual, it, it's, yeah, it's kind of idiot friendly. It's like an Ikea manual. So I hope you've all enjoyed this unboxing and first look at the Rode Wireless Go 2 dual channel wireless microphone system. Overall, I do think this package is quite good. You've got your carry pouch for carrying everything, keeping it all together. You've got your receiver, two transmitters, three for shields three charging cables and your audio cable. If I had to say anything negative, I guess this is basic, but it does do the job. Same goes for the cables. The quick start guide will help you all, but something a little bit more detailed might have been better as well, but I'm sure you'll find that on the website and there'll be different guides out there. But overall, I do think it looks good. And my first impressions of the devices themselves is, is positive, I think. These are going to be very, very useful for me. And yeah, it's amazing how portable and lightweight these are. So I'm looking forward to trying these out. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for my next video about this, where I'll have more knowledge as to what I like and what I don't like. But until then, thanks for watching. Please do leave a comment below. And until next time, take care.